The incremental positioner is a marvel of jig making technology in my opinion. The principle is simple. Some thread patterns correspond to the marks on our rulers. For example, a 3816 thread features 16 threads per inch, and an imperial ruler features inches that are divided into sixteenths. So if you align the ruler with a set of fixed threads, and you attach another section of the same thread pattern to a movable object, you can then index those movements with the marks on your ruler. In this case, producing a positive stop every sixteenth of an inch. So imagine the implications of that when it comes to making jigs for woodworking. For example, about five years ago I designed a table saw tenon jig utilizing the homemade incremental positioner idea. It was really simple to build. I have a set of plans on my website that will walk you through it. You'll find a link to them below this video. Let me show you how it works because it well illustrates the effectiveness of a positioner like this. So it's not just about the tenon jig. You're going to learn something that you can apply to your own jigs as well. I've scratched two lines on the cursor exactly an eighth of an inch apart because that's the thickness of my saw blade. This dual cursor is actually an upgrade I made after I wrote the plans because I find them really helpful. With a dual cursor I can visualize exactly where the blade will actually cut in relation to the ruler. Not just the side of the blade, but the full kerf, and that helps me to not forget to account for that. Here my jig's carriage is set right against the side of the blade. If I were to make a cut in this position, I would remove the thickness of the saw blade from the edge of the workpiece. You can see the two hairlines are next to the zero point of my ruler, indicating that that will indeed remove an eighth of an inch of material. But of course to make a tenon I want to remove more than an eighth, so let me show you on this piece of tape. My workpiece is an inch and a half thick. I want to remove three eighths from each cheek and have three quarters of an inch tenon remaining. So where will my cuts be? Obviously on each side of the tenon. So that's what I do. I move the saw kerf, represented by the dual cursors, to one side of the tenon and make a cut. Then to the other side and I make another cut. I remove the waist flat on the table saw. That's all there is to it. Both cuts were made without stopping to rotate the workpiece within the jig as you usually have to do with tenon jigs. And I can repeat those cuts to make tenon after tenon with the same precise repeatable accuracy because the incremental positioner will only allow me to set the cursor on those ruler lines. So if my eyesight isn't great and I try to set the cursor a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left of my designated cut line, those interlocking threads will automatically nudge it back into position. Again, it's like having a positive stop every sixteenth of an inch. Here's a double tenon. I just make each cut with the dual cursor in the waist area. In fact, I can nibble out the waist area as I go. And the two tenons are going to be on the workpiece exactly as they are on the ruler. But what if I don't want a tenon that's exactly a half inch thick or some other measurement that's divisible by sixteenths of an inch? Sometimes you have to shave off tiny bits on the cheek of your tenon to custom fit it into the mortise. Incremental positioners are micro adjustable. So if you rotate the fixed thread, you can shift that carriage by the tiniest amount, actually moving your cursor away from the marks on the ruler, and that allows you to micro adjust the thickness of your tenon by the smallest amount, sneaking up on the proper fit. Of course, this jig works for other joiners as well, including rabbits and bridle joints and even complex slip joints. Again, I'll put a link to the plans I made below this video, and I recommend you build one, not only for the tenon jig itself, because it is an introduction to homemade incremental positioner technology, and then you can use those ideas to really up your jig game in the future. See you next time. This is the CRB7 router jig system from Empower Tools, and it does just about everything with amazing accuracy due to its clever micro adjuster. It's just one of the many product innovations from this small family owned company. You gotta check them out at the link in the notes below this video.